Hi, it's Stephen from Owner Disown. I stopped by the Aura's booth at PAX 2020 to see if we had an indication when their new line of laptops will be reaching the market. Uh, the new Aero 15 and Aero 17 are scheduled to arrive April the 5th, whilst the new Aura's line, the Aura's 15 and 17, will be arriving around about mid-April. We do expect the 10th gen Comet Lake H CPUs, uh, that's probably the i7 and the i9 8 cores, as well as the RTX Super GPUs to be on board. And I should be getting at least one of those laptops to review shortly. I bumped into Julia, the uh, Aorus marketing rep, and she was telling us a little bit more about the Aorus 15 and the Aorus 17. So let's have a look. So hello, welcome to Gigabyte Aorus booth. And here I would like to show you some of our amazing laptops here, what we have at PAX East. So here's the laptop that you can see that everyone is playing now, is our extreme gaming laptop, which is the Oro 17 gaming laptop notebook here. So this one is the world's first laptop with Omeron mechanical key switches. This is amazing, this is a massive, uh, great feelings of the response and the travel distance is really cool. And so here we can see this one equipped with uh, uh, i9 and i7 CPU and uh, with equipment starting from 1660 Ti up to 2080s RDX graphic. This one is really amazing. I think you should try to fill with it and to touch the mechanical key switch here. This one has a massive storage up to um, around like two terabyte and with a thin bezel which give you a really nice um, screen image 240 Hertz which is a really good for the image display here look at the colors is really amazing I think uh, for uh, extreme gamers you want a mass a really amazing performance laptop this one will be the one that you definitely need to check out from our our oral 17 and with the fan and with this fan, we have a really good infinity wind force systems to help you to give you a best best performance. It's not gonna help. It's gonna have less overheating for your laptop. And you can see that a lot of people come to have fun with this laptop because the mechanical key switch. Everyone thinks this is the coolest things that we have for this. And stay tuned with us because we're gonna have this mechanical key switch laptop with our. 15 inches. From a laptop perspective, PAX East was pretty quiet. If you're into desktops, there was certainly quite a bit of that going around. And the attendance of PAX East this time was certainly lower than normal, as one would might expect. MSI was a real disappointment. They didn't even have the Bravo 15 there. They had the Alpha 15, the uh, GP65, and the GT76. All laptops were fully aware of. It was a shame that the laptop marketing guy wasn't at the show to talk about the new Intel, NVIDIA supercards or the AMD refresh. I did stop by the Audio Technica booth and they had a range of uh, noise cancelling headsets and some interesting gaming headsets too. And I was able to uh, reach out and get a contact so I, they may send me a review unit. The EVGA booth was really small as well, a massive disappointment. They had a few custom desktops on display, uh, did have a word with their marketing guy and they confirmed they're not going to be making any gaming laptops anymore. That's a shame. To be fair, Gigabyte was the only game in town and one video I will be working on is the process from purchasing a laptop all the way through to their customer support should uh, the customer have an issue and I think that would be pretty useful. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch my footage on the next-gen laptops. See you next time. Bye.